Uh, Dave, what about you? Uh, well, I've been married for eight years. We've been together for 13 years. He's a dude, which is interesting to people. Okay. We, have, we have two one-year-olds, and uh, I'm feeling very old right now because there's been several words that I have not understood. Oh, Can I tra- let me translate for you. Yeah, what, what, were, were, was it uh, what was it? Was it ick? Was that well, one? Ick of the was one, and then there was, there was, what was the poll? What's the poll? It's when you, like, he pulls. get girls. Yeah, he, if he pulls. Oh, he pulls. He oh, he pulls. <laughs> he goes, wow, he's girls pulling. Got like it, got him. it, got it. Okay, all right. Got I'm it. Was, yeah. And you said you're married, right? Yeah. How long have you been married for? Eight years. Eight years. Together okay. about 13, yeah. God, wow, okay. Yeah, which in straight years, that's like 50 years, basically. That's, wow. yeah. Is so it? Long, that's a long time. Yeah. Is it? Okay, yeah. interesting. Got it. What do you Got mean it. by straight years? Yeah. Well, yeah. Really, you know, mean? because people think <laughs> gays be. don't have like normal relationships. So if you've been with someone for eight years mm-hmm. and you're gay, it's like 20. Wow. I have wow. never oh, heard man. of that. Well, that's interesting. It's like there's this learn something new every day. And two one year olds. Gay people that do have long term relationships, but then the majority of them. Um, don't. I guess I don't know. We we actually don't even have that many gay friends. Like the few that we do are couples that have been together for a while, but mm-hmm. with kids usually. When did um, you stop dating women? Like a little bit after college. I tried. I really tried. <laughs> did, just, you know? did you it know you were work. gay all the time? But you just. Yeah, kind of, but like I was trying, you know what I mean? Like I was really trying. You wanted like, to be straight. Well, yeah, it's also like I'm 47, so I was in college in the early 90s. It's very, it was yeah. very different. Days. It was yeah. very Those different days. back then than it was now. Like there was no, you couldn't be like normal and gay or anything like that. It was mm-hmm. before gay marriage. It was like, it was like, what the hell is this thing? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. Um, so and I, I tried. I, I the sent, girls were throwing themselves lot, at you. Yeah, yeah. I owe a lot of girls from back then a lot of apologies because, <laughs> because like girls always loved me and I just like I try, but I pulled. I pulled. I was pulling. You, you were pulling. Uh-huh. Dave I was, pulling. was pulling. Yeah, um, he pulled. He pulled. Unfortunately, Let him know that if he wanted to, he would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But not everything was working, if you know uh-huh. what I mean. And uh, yeah. Got it. So Dave. Uh, yeah. But as far as the moving in and everything else you guys were talking about, like if you love the person and it's the right person that you're supposed to be with, it doesn't matter if you've mm-hmm. been together for two mm-hmm. months. Like if it's legit and real and you know the person and it's not just because you they need a bed and you need some cash <laughs> and like you're supposed to be with them, then it, it really, there's no rule. You could be with them for six months mm-hmm. and move in. You could, there are people, mm-hmm. you will find people that have been together for 40 years that knew each other for two weeks and mm-hmm. they were like, that's the one. That's fair. And, yeah. That's fair. And then you, you do it. You got to figure. You got to. Did, did you? Uh, on the adventure with did somebody. you go to college? You went yeah. to college. Yeah. Uh, where did you go? SUNY Binghamton, up, upstate New York. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was there like was it a party school kind of or not? I was not a really. major pothead. Major, you were. Oh, yeah. you were a pothead. It wasn't. Yeah, I guess it was just a lot of weed. It was a lot, a lot of weed. Of weed. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Was there kind of like walking around Santa Barbara actually? <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah, a lot of weed. Have you been here before, by the way? A couple times. Okay, but it's been a while. Um, and so. Would you? Uh, when did you graduate from university? Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Yeah. Would you say? I mean, you probably witnessed things. Was there? Because in colleges, there there is mm-hmm. uh, certainly at least today, there's definitely a, quite a big hookup culture. Was there yeah. a hookup culture? Oh yeah, it's college. back in the nineties. It's 90s. college, man. Uh, yeah, yeah it's college. Yeah, like, yeah. Everyone's. I mean, you're basic. I think actually, it seems probably back then people were probably having sex more. I think mm-hmm. people probably now between porn and whatever like you just getting off in different ways where back then you actually like if you wanted to like get off you had to like find somebody to, find to get off with a body, old school you know a yeah. Warm body. yeah you yeah. had sex with someone else it was weird yeah, yeah Brian you mm-hmm. said hookup culture but as far as I know aren't zoomers like losing their virginity later and later I is there like a statistic or well, that, is, yeah, that is true, is true? yeah that, like they're having less sex than millennials did at their own age. yeah like there's all this talk about like how the younger generation like m- millennials on the cusp and like zoomers specifically like hookup culture and like fucking a bunch but um i don't believe that's the case and i think that's like a reason why there's kind of like this loneliness epidemic amongst like boys particularly mm-hmm. but like zoomers in general waiting longer and longer to have sex so they party less they socialize less of course yeah that means they're online that they have less mm-hmm. relationships they have less sex yeah so like i don't find the hookup culture really i feel like that's getting phased out if anything i mean the thing uh, is you can get everything so easily now right like you can get every human connection you want whether it's sexual or emotional or anything basically from your phone dating mm-hmm. apps uh, yeah well, there's a simulation and, and of it huge, but not the real thing yeah so it's a huge problem because there you used to like actually have to Go to a, like have any of you ever gone to a bar by yourself and just like sat at the bar? Yes. And when seen I, if a guy, I and 21. seen if a guy like hits on you or even just has oh. a drink, have a drink by yourself. Like there's something about that. Like in the old days, like if you were meeting a friend at the bar or at the movies, 
before you had a phone, right? Like you had to stand there and then you would, and then you would people watch. You'd actually just like look at people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like we've just sort of devolved all of that so our brains are just never mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. hooked into the matrix. Yeah. And I think that that's added to a lot of the kind of loneliness and yeah. craziness mm -hmm. that it seems like a lot of people in their 20s are feeling right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's linked to a lot of like depression and anxiety too mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you're so like isolated. Yeah. 